I'm riding, 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 riding in my RV, my RV, wherever I want to be. Cause I'm free in my RV. Yeah, from yeah. Quebec, from Montreal. Yeah. Best rally we've ever been. Well, to. hello, everybody, and the greetings once again from the Hershey RV Show. And uh, they claim it's the largest, America's largest RV show, and it feels large, doesn't it? Large, By the way, there's Tampa, and then there's California. So, yeah. you know, they're all big. It's, it's but but they, they have the website and the hashtag and the, and the, and the social media tags. So. Yeah. By the way, we're here with Mike and Jennifer Wendland of the RV Lifestyle YouTube channel, podcast, and uh, what, else, what else are you guys oh. doing these days? Books, newsletter, and uh, and uh, meet and greets. <laughs> yeah. You're covering all the bases. Uh, let me tell you, uh, and I've been watching your, your your channel and listening to your podcast for a long time. And uh, uh, what have you seen here at the RV show that you find exciting, innovative, well, or, know, or different? There's been a lot of people saying that the industry is in a decline, and uh, I don't think that's true. I mean, I'm seeing more enthusiasm for RVs uh, than I ever have before at this show. And I think, uh, and I'm seeing more first-time buyers. Yeah, first-time buyers. Mm -hmm. um, it is the dream. You yeah. work hard, you retire, and you yeah. want that motorhome. You want to go travel. And, and I, th I think they probably always come. But I've seen a lot of younger buyers too. Yes, it's, too. It's yes yeah. too. That too. And really cool uh, accessories this year. It seems like uh, uh, there's. I've been noticing all these great bike racks on the back of mostly the smaller the Bs the, and the B pluses. Uh, people, uh, you know, and I think that's moving back to a more active RVer. They don't just go sit at a, you know, at a campground for three or four days and do nothing except, you know, uh, have potlucks. Uh, they're out yeah. doing stuff. They're kayaking yeah. and yeah, having it's, fun. It's, they're definitely becoming more of an adventure vehicle. I've seen a lot of these Sprinter 4x4 Sprinters yes. also. I've, I've seen quite a few. Well, the, the problem with, with a Sprinter is so many of the RV manufacturers that build on them haven't been able to get the chassis because... Uh, well, Amazon bought, what, 30,000 of them? So yeah. even now, some of the 2019, 2020 Sprinter chassis are not being delivered to the manufacturers. So they are really, uh, they're really trying to do something. We talked to the Mercedes people. They said they're, they're getting more of them out. But uh, uh, that's been a big frustration for a lot of these companies that have people who want to buy them, but they couldn't get the Sprinter chassis because the Sprinter is so popular. We love this Sprinter. And actually, the price is coming down on a lot of the Class Bs, and I think they are more affordable for the younger Buyers. Yeah, and then, um, you know, like Thor just came up with a brand new class B. I don't know if you saw the, the new I, Thor. Uh, it's called the Conquest. It's on the Dodge Ram Pro, or the Promaster chassis. Yeah. But it was like, it's like a perfect copy of the Winnebago Travado. A perfect oh, really? copy. Really? <laughs> I mean, and they admit it. it we copied it. We took yeah. the best. They added some extra tweaks mm -hmm. to it. But so, you know, all the manufacturers are back into the smaller RVs. They're still growing. They're still growing. I, I like the ProMaster and the fact that it's just a couple of inches wider. And uh, uh, it's, it's, it's noticeable if you want to sleep transversely, you know, in the, in the bed, you know, and, uh, uh, with, with the Sprinter and the, and the Transit. It's just a little, tiny little too narrow. Yeah. We had but, trouble with the, the Transit. What was it we didn't like with the Transit? It was getting from the back to the front. The Ford. The yeah. Ford. The Ford. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was just the... Uh, it was it was really easy to drive, but it was hard to get from the, the yeah the from driving. the cockpit to the to the to the. You have a 65 pound dog that's terrified. Yeah, the 65 pound dog that lies in the <laughs> middle. That's right in between us. It's yeah. very hard. Yeah, yeah. Right. a little added well, it's, challenge. It's it's great to be able to speak to you once again, uh, Mike and Jennifer. Uh, where are you going next? What, what's your travel plans uh, here well, for the future? We're in the middle of the big season because uh, next week is the RV uh, dealer open house in Elkhart, the Elkhart, RV yeah. capital of the world. We're going to go yes. there. Mm -hmm. And then after that, we the fly out week? to California for the California, the California RV show. show. Yeah, which it's, it's, it's RV show season from, from now until Tampa probably. And then, uh, and then we love to do uh, a lot of camp at the end of uh, October. It's our favorite month because yeah. we love the color. So yeah, I know you like to go to the Upper Peninsula and the... Uh, you you camp in the, in the snow. Yeah, Why don't you come on up and camp with us this January? Two and a half feet of snow in the Upper Peninsula, you'd love it. I might do that. I've never done a winter camping. I just came from there. I, I actually did Mackinac Island and uh, a little bit of the of the Upper Peninsula. Yeah, it was great. Really, come come camp with us in the uh, Upper Peninsula in January. When Third you go weekend. To, go to Mackinac. Or second you have, weekend. You have second to weekend. Spend the night there. And in Mackinac Island. At, at the Grand Hotel. Well, Bandra, Mission Point, there's lots of different places to stay, but you spend the night when the crowds go away and 
It's yeah, fun. Mackinac yeah. Island is Peaceful, a wonderful place. Quiet, the way but, it's supposed to be. But I still like our winter camp out yeah, in, at Tequamanon Falls in Tequamanon. January. we got to keep yeah. our fingers crossed to have snow in, that early in January. I think that won't be a problem the I second we get in January. Yeah. Sure yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much for you, taking Robert. the time, and, uh, and I'll see you on the road for All sure. Right, so get, we're big fans of you, Robert, so uh, thank you so much.